All right, got that phone call that us hunters love to get. The taxidermist has the mounts done. I got three different mounts I'm gonna be picking up, plus some mounts for some buddies, so. Got a bunch of moving blankets. Gonna load the truck up, head south. Cannot wait to see these things. All right, we're just pulling in. A couple hour drive, not too bad. See Bruce and the boys pick up these mounts. Hello, hello. Look at him back there, diligently working. Look at him. Just killing it. Are the regular old peasants allowed back in here? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> they got a genre right now. Ah. Back with us to get a, to get yeah. A Here's the man, the myth, the legend himself. Taking exploration. Taking care of business. Got to do the office work too, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. I recognize that guy. Dang. I'm gonna run that thing while you're holding stuff, looking out. That is crazy. All right. This what, is... what you got for me here? A couple little bucks? Yeah. Takes the heavy duty hangers on these guys. <laughs> Couple of familiar faces there. Missouri and Colorado. Gosh, that Colorado buck is like a cartoon. His rack, I remember just walking up on him. Well, that one, we soaked that in vinegar for a couple weeks and it caused them to swell up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Man, those look awesome. This is Mr. This one's my Missouri buck here. Got him. It was a pretty cool story. We, uh, this deer I shot November 3rd. He's coming right to us. Right to us. Oh yeah, it's Lip Girl. Ooh. Oh, he is toast. He isn't even going to make it out of the field. Oh, just down he goes. Just like that. Yes. And then took a few days off hunting with the kids. Drove back to Colorado because the season opened back up. And next time in the stand, killed that deer. Back-to-back -back stand sits. 
All right, so this is this is a replica of my biggest Colorado deer ever. Oh my God, dude. There he is right there. Look at this, yes, yes. What a giant. Oh, oh my gosh. This is a monster Colorado whitetail. Holy cow. Look at the neck on this bruiser. Unbelievable. Huge brow tines, big sticker off both. Just tall, tall tan. He's got good beams that curl up. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest whitetail I've ever shot with my bow. What a giant. We're taking it back out to the ranch because I didn't want to part ways with that one. That is pretty cool. Yeah, since we were doing these as a 3D print replica, I went ahead and made the horns detachable. Uh, they'll be easier to haul out there and that's I cool. Think Mr. Pete will like it. Yeah, that's like the that's like the elk mounts that you've done. They just pop right on and off. That's cool. Got a little angle iron in there. Yeah, so they don't distort. So they the fit the position. They fit the deal. Yeah, these replica these replica antlers are a little lighter than the <laughs> than the real deal, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got all the deer situated for the most part. We're gonna see if we can play some Tetris here in the back of the truck. Bruce, we're really relying on your on your Tetris skills here. We're gonna see how many we can fit in here. <laughs> I got blankets. We just reloaded nine, nine in a Suburban. Yeah. All right. Um, this here. We got a full load. Got him. It's like, <laughs> I don't think we could have had one more. It's a good thing that one has the tactical antlers and we're able to pop those off. Got three in the back and we're headed back. Could have probably brought a trailer, but can't wait to get some of these on the wall. Always awesome stopping at Bruce's and picking up some mounts. They do incredible work. <laughs> 